Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we will learn about how to undo the pending changes in Git in UiPath Studio. Before committing the changes to the local repository or pushing the changes to the remote repository, we have an option to undo the pending changes. We will cover each and everything regarding this undo, how to undo the pending changes. Sometimes what happens like you are working on the project and you did some changes there, right? You also save that and now it is considered as a pending changes. Now normal undo like control J will not work in that case. You have to undo that one. So now in UiPath Studio, we have an option to undo the changes, but you have to understand each and everything like what happens if we add some files to our project. What happens if we delete some files from our project by mistake and now I want to undo that changes. I want to get that file back. If you are adding the files now, I don't want that file in my project. I want to delete that or I want to undo that one so that it should not be added to the local repository in my commit history. If you want to understand each of these topic, then you have to watch this video till the end. Now let's start. Let me open this in UiPath Studio first. So here you can see this project we already have in local repository and remote repository. So first we'll start with the simple things. Let me just modify anything in this main workflow calling for each file adding comments. Now here this will not be showing as a pending changes until we are pressing control S or we are saving this changes. So we'll save this and now once we'll save this, you'll see this pencil icon that is showing that pending changes. You can also see it from here one changes. It means this changes is ready to commit. Now you don't want to commit this in the local repository. So before pushing this to the remote repository or to the local repository, you want to just undo this one. So how can you do that? So we have this option. You can right click on this project and click on undo. Once you we'll click on undo, you will get this window undo pending changes. Here you can see this file has been automatically selected because only in this main gemel file, we modified this log message, right? If you'll we'll modify in any other also workflow, then we'll see all the list of workflow which has the modification. Now if you we'll click on this right side, you can see this option that is so changes. If we'll click on that. You will see here. So let's understand here. It shows that this color means this has been modified. If you see this color, it means that file or something has been that activity has been deleted. If you see this color, it means that a specific file or any uh, that has been added here. Now based on this color, it shows that this has been modified. This main XML file has been modified. Now what has been modified? First understand this one latest and local. Now this is the latest file which is available in our UiPath Studio here. It means which is already available in our local repository. It shows that we have this UiPath GitHub main sequence. We have log message, uh, workflow file, in invoke workflow and this invoke workflow, these things. Now right side you can see in the local we just made changes. Right. You can see here also we have log message everything, but the changes we did it is showing here the modified color. It means it has only been modified in this log message. Now if we'll come to this here below modified property log message, right? In this you can see in the latest file that we have you know, in the local repository the message is calling for each file in the basically log message. Now what is the changes now in the local that calling for each file adding comments. So this line has been added. This text has been added now. So this is the thing that this is the message that we have added. So you can see here now if you want to keep this changes, you can just close this and you can keep it. 
Now just close this one and you think that this we want to undo the changes we can click on undo button and once you'll click on undo button you can see that comment has been removed now let's say I'm going to add one activity say this right line I'm going to save this one okay now go to project and you can see this has been modified now right click on this go to undo again click on this click on show changes and now you will see the different color that is added it means we have added one activity if you'll add one workflow to this project then also you will see this one this uh, this green color which shows that it is added so in the letters like earlier this right line was not there that activity was not there so that's why it's showing as blank but here now in this local currently in this local we have this right line activity added and now it's showing as a green color so if you want to keep this one you can keep otherwise you can keep, click on undo now before clicking undo I want to show one more thing here so let's say now I'm going to delete this workflow now you can understand like this has been deleted by mistake now you want to get it back so you will right click on this click on undo and now you can see here these two files the main file where we have added one activity and the second file which has been deleted that you can see the icon that shows it means this has been deleted and here we have modified now if you we'll click on this for main main gmail file you will see this activity has been added and showing as a green color if you we'll click on this and click show changes you can see here this has been deleted it means showing everything in the red color this color this has been deleted now if you want to undo this it means you don't want to delete this you want to get this file back here in this our project then you can just you know click on undo now if you don't want to undo this main gmail file so based on your requirement might be you have already modified your project right you have added one activity you have added some comment you have modified your assign activity you have added some value to that assign activity uh, you have just used data scrapping things you have added uh, any click activity type into activity that you have already captured the element you you have the you have modified the selector everything is already done but you have not saved the changes you have not committed that but now let's say by mistake in between you have deleted any workflow here we have an option we can first go and show the changes like what changes have been done here and which one you want to undo so let's say this I have deleted this one I have just added one more activity now I'm going to add one workflow so right click click one one sequence create that now I have just now added one workflow you can see the plus symbol now right click on this save this first right click click undo so this has been added here now if you want to undo this so see what will will happen here I don't want to keep this sequence gmail file I want to just you know undo this one it means that should be deleted so I will click on undo and now you can see what is happening here I have clicked on undo and selected all so it means this file the serialized JSON file we have already received it because we clicked on undo and this was already deleted right but we clicked on undo so now we got this file back so I hope now you are clear with this undo pending changes thank you so much for watching this video